Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Buddhist Society. To those of you who've come into Eccleston Square, and to those of you online, a very warm welcome. And if you're new to the Buddhist Society, an especially warm welcome to you. My name is Richard, and this is the lunchtime meditation session. We're going to start in our usual way, but before we do, can you just check you've turned off your mobile phones or put them onto airplane mode? Thank you. And we'll sit together for about half an hour, 30 minutes. And before we do that, I'll light some candles and then I'll read the dedication of offerings and the praise of the Buddha. The Dedication of Offerings To the Blessed One, the Lord who fully attained perfect enlightenment, to the teaching which he expounded so well, and to the Blessed One's disciples who have practiced well, to these, the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha, we render with offerings our rightful homage. It is well for us that the Blessed One, having attained liberation, still had compassion for later generations. May these simple offerings be accepted for our long-lasting benefit and for the happiness it gives us. The Lord, the perfectly enlightened and blessed one, I render homage to the Buddha, the blessed one. The teaching so completely explained by him, I bow to the Dharma. The blessed one's disciples who have practiced well, I bow to the Sangha. Recollection of the Buddha. A good word of the Blessed One's reputation has spread as follows. He, the Blessed One, is indeed the pure one, the perfectly enlightened one. He is impeccable in conduct and understanding, the accomplished one, the knower of the worlds. He trains perfectly those who wish to be trained. He is teacher of gods and humans. He is awake and holy. The supreme praise of the Buddha. The Buddha, the truly worthy one, endowed with such excellent qualities, whose being is composed of purity, transcendental wisdom and compassion. Who has enlightened the wise like the sun awakening the lotus. I bow my head to that peaceful chief of conquerors. The Buddha, who is the safe, secure refuge of all beings. As the first object of recollection, I venerate him with bowed head. I am indeed the Buddha's servant. The Buddha is my Lord and guide. The Buddha is sorrow's destroyer, who bestows blessings on me. To the Buddha, I dedicate this body and life. And in devotion, I will walk the Buddha's path of awakening. To me, there is no other refuge. The Buddha is my excellent refuge. 
By the utterance of this truth, may I grow in the Master's way. By my devotion to the Buddha and the blessings of this practice, by its power, may all obstacles be overcome. So I invite you now to come to a reasonably upright sitting position and do get comfortable. So make allowances for the state you find your body in and just get comfortable in a position you can hold with ease for about 30 minutes or so. And then a good place to start is by dropping your attention downwards, down into the soles of your feet if you're sitting on a chair or if you're sitting on the floor on a cushion it would be your ankles and your shins, the points of contact with the floor, the ground that supports you. And the invitation is to really feel the sensation of the touch of your body on the floor. And the encouragement is to notice where your attention actually goes. So whatever else you've been doing earlier today, the invitation is just to let that go, to put it aside. Just be with your body right now. And then I invite you to move your attention to your sitting bones on the chair or the cushion. And in exactly the same way, just see if you can locate your attention in the sensation of sitting. And then I invite you to move your attention upwards again to your back and your spine in particular. And just see if you can get a sense of the sensations in that area and see if you can align your spine with your head and your neck so that everything's in a reasonably upright column, not rigidly straight, but just gently upright. Thank you. 
So the invitation is just to notice the sensations and let them go. And now I invite you to move your attention to your head and your neck. And in exactly the same way, just notice the sensations in that area. And then I invite you to take in the whole of your physical body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, including your sitting bones and your back. And just get a general sense of the whole of your physical body, just sweeping through it. Feel the clothes on your skin surface and the air on your hands and your face. And if you can relax whilst you're doing this, that would be one of the encouragements. To see if you can soften your body and relax. And then when you're ready, when you feel settled, I invite you just to pick up the sensation of the movement caused by the breath. So wherever it's easiest for you, wherever it has most impact, wherever you sense it in the most obvious way, just see if you can notice it and locate your attention on the gentle rise and fall of the breath. So let this be your point of return, your anchor. If the mind drifts and swirls away onto this or that, that's absolutely fine. Just notice it. You haven't made a mistake. Just notice it and gently bring your attention back to the sensation of the movement caused by the breath. And above all, keep your practice kind and compassionate. And we'll practice in this way for another 20 minutes or so.
So please feel free to stretch and move and adjust your posture. And thank you for your attention. Some notices from the Buddhist society. Today, Monday, there's in the evening, there's the Theravada class and the Zen class, and it's the last of the introduction to Buddhism class, which is, they all happen at 6.30. On Thursday, there's the Tibetan class and the basic meditation class at 6.30. The basic meditation class this week is led by Ajahn Sabado. There are two lunchtime meditation classes on Wednesday and Thursday, but they're not online they're here at the Buddhist Society. And um, the lunchtime class that would have been on Friday uh, to be taken by Deirdre. Deirdre is having, our friend Deirdre is having a knee operation, and we wish her all the best with that. So she won't be in on Friday. This is the last uh, Monday. Uh, lunchtime meditation session until September the 11th, because the Buddhist Society takes their summer break um, from this Friday onwards. In that regard, I should mention that the summer school, the Buddhist Society summer school, um, which runs from the 26th of August to the 2nd of September, uh, still has places available for those who want a concession or um, a bursary. So if you make inquiries to the Buddhist Society, there are still places available. Thank you all very much for attending this session, both here in at Eccleston Square and online. I'm going to close today by reading the Buddha's words on loving kindness, the Metta Sutta, and then I'll finish with a closing homage. The Buddha's words on loving kindness. This is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness and who knows the path of peace. Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech. Humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied, unburdened with duties and frugal in their ways, peaceful and calm and wise and skillful, not proud and demanding in nature. Let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove. Wishing, in gladness and in safety, may all beings be at ease. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, omitting none, the great or the mighty, medium, short or small, the seen and the unseen, those born and to be born, May all beings be at ease. Let none deceive another or despise any being in any state. Let none, through anger or ill will, wish harm upon another. Even as a mother protects with her life her child, her only child, so with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings. Radiating kindness over the entire world, spreading upwards to the skies and downwards to the depths, outwards and unbounded, freed from hatred and ill will, whether standing or walking, seated or lying down, Free from drowsiness, one should sustain this recollection. This is said to be the sublime abiding. By not holding to fixed views 
the pure-hearted one, having clarity of vision, being freed from all sense desires, is not born again into this world. A closing homage. The Lord, the perfectly enlightened and blessed one, I render homage to the Buddha, the blessed one. The teachings which he has explained so well, I bow to the Dhamma. The blessed one's disciples who have practiced well, I bow to the Sangha. So thank you once again for joining together and forming this Sangha. I wish you well.